वेलकम एवरीवन माय नेम इज जयंत मलिक एंड आई हैव कंप्लीटेड द प्रोजेक्ट वन फ्रॉम द सी एस फिफ्टी क्लास विच इज वेब प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग पाइथन एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट इट इज अबाउट बुक्स एंड आई वांट टू शो यू दैट आई हैव होस्टेड इट ऑनलाइन ऑन टू द हीरोकू वेबसाइट इफ यू विजिट द लिंक ई डी एक्स डैश बो ई डी एस यू कैन सी इट ओवर हेयर आई एम नॉट एबल टू प्रोनाउंस इट ई डी एक्स डैश बुक्स डैश एप डॉट हीरो को एप डॉट कॉम एंड नाउ यू विल बी प्रोमटेड विद अ लॉग इन एंड अ क्रिएट अकाउंट स्क्रीन इफ आई क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट अकाउंट देन इट विल रीडायरेक्ट मी टू द स्लैश साइन अप यू आर एल ऑन माई वेबसाइट एंड आई कैन क्रिएट एन अकाउंट ओवर हेयर लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अकाउंट बाय द नेम ऑफ क्लाइंट एंड फॉर द पासवर्ड लेट पुस पुट द पासवर्ड एज क्लाइंट and if i click on sign up now it prompts me that user password should be user passwords do not match in order to create an account you need to match the enter password and confirm password fields i have implemented this thing into my application let's enter the client and this time let's enter the password as password and one more thing your password should be more than 7 characters long and your username should be more than 4 characters long this is the requirement in order to sign up into the application now i also have a log out button over here which just clears your session and by the way you can log in again let's say i log in with my books account i click on login now and there i will see a search option in for searching the books i can search the books by isbn number title and author let's say i want to search by the title and the title is the dark i click on search and there are several results in front of me i will get maximum of 20 results from the database i have implemented the query such a way okay if i click on view details then you can see that i can see the book details where the ISBN number title number author number author name and the year are from the database and average score and work ratings count are from the good reads api and below i have a review section where you can see the the user has already reviewed this book and he or she can't review it again he or she can just view the review and the review shows his text that he put into the review and created on now in order to create a review you can click on view details and you can review a book which you have not reviewed before or earlier let's say i want to review this book let's say i want to this is the best book i found on internet and if i click on add review and then you can see that the review has been successfully added and i also have the page to visit the home page in the inside of header you can which takes you over here if i click on the instructions page or instructions link over here you can see all the information related to this project and by the way you can find this information into the readme file Okay there was one more requirement of the slash api route i have implemented that route also if i visit the slash api slash then i need to enter the isbn number of a book if i click on just enter the number and click on enter then i will see an error with the status of 404 not found if you click on inspect go to the network tab over here and just refresh the page and then there you go you will see the status which is 404 not found if you click on this then there is status code 404 not found so if you enter the correct isbn number of a book for let's say i want to search for the book the dark and i enter its isbn number into slash api slash isbn number route then i will get the details about the book in this case you can see that the author is susan cooper average score is this and isbn number all that stuff which you have requested into the requirements file so that was it for the project i have 
this project folder and it contains several files and you can find the HTML files into the template there is a widgets folder which contains a header for the website which you see up over here this home instructions and layout this is the header section of the website and this is inside of this header.html file and then we have the html pages which is error details and all other pages required in order to run that application i have app.py which is the starting point of my flask application i have implemented the import dot py file it contains the several functions let's say I have a function called as get data. It just reads the file books.csv and returns the result as a dictionary, as a Python dictionary. Now I have separate functions for inserting the authors and for getting the author ID and inserting the books. Okay. Now let's see how I implemented the insert authors function. I get the data from this function which is get data. For I get a row which is just a dictionary of Python in from the get data and I add the authors to and I add that row to the authors which is a set set I have used the set because I want to remove the duplicate authors I do not want to insert the duplicate authors into my database so I have used the set over here then I have prepared the query which is insert into authors and all this for loop does is, ju is just uh, creates a query for me now i need to replace the comma with a space if any author name contains any comma into it then i need to replace it with a space if it contain a single colon then i replace i want to replace it with a double quotes because the sql syntax does not allow this single quote in in mid of the value so i have replaced it with double quotes in order to overcome that issue now i have added the author to the query which is up over here so it becomes values then the author name over here again i have to replace the last comma you can see that on to the every value we have appended the comma along with this author name so in order to remove that i have used this syntax i have used the so semicolon i have replaced the comma with a semicolon at the last and then i have executed the query committed the results same way i have in implemented the insert and into the my main function this is just a fancy message just to print that something is happening and then i create the tables if they do not exist I create the authors and books table then I commit to the database and print the tables created successfully then I insert the authors and insert the books this is all into the import statement which I have completed there is a proc file which is just meant to host the application on Heroku it just contains a web just a Heroku statement and Gunicon is a, is a web server which is just loads my application onto the Heroku instance then I have readme file which contains the instructions for the project and a requirement.txt file contain all the dependency of the modules in the project that was all the flask session contains the files which are just sessions stored onto the file system that is all about this project